My favourite part of Zeta, bar the Segway editor, the little module that could. The Z player functions like a digital DJ player. You need to drag the asset in, then hit the Q button to actually load it up, and only then will you be able to fire it off. I've been finding it really useful for one-shot effects like a winner sound or a short recurring ding type sound, but that's probably not why you're watching this particular video. Yes, it's the one that can loop, and there are a few ways to do it. Hitting these in-out buttons will create an instant loop. Now, if you didn't quite get it that first time, just use these arrow buttons here to tidy it up and repress the in or out button depending on which point of the loop you were trying to fix. Now, if the first beat that you need is at the trim in marker of the asset, hit in before playing. And that way, when you tap out, it'll take you back to the very beginning. To exit the loop and continue playing the asset, just hit this one, make it not purple anymore, and that way it's exited the loop. Depending on the asset, you may even be able to save these loop points, or at the very least, set them up in the Segway editor, and then just drag them into the Z player to get that instant loop happening. The second way to loop is whole asset, or trim to trim. Just drag the asset in, press the Q button, then the loop button, and because no loop markers have been set, it's just going to loop the whole asset. So if you've chopped it perfectly in multi-track, or set those trim markers correctly in metadata, you're going to get a great result. The third way to loop has has saved my ass quite a few times. Live looping. Pull the asset in, press Q and fire it off. Now, if you press play in this state, it'll go straight back to the trim in marker instantly. And if you do it right, you get to perform a loop on the fly.